Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome in my channel of Arun's Creation. Today I will teach you a very special effect that is called Diffuse Glow in Photoshop. Uh, as you can see on the screen, this is very very special effect and it requires a lot of practice to do the same effect. So let's see how to get this type of work in Photoshop CC. So firstly open the photo in the Photoshop, then choose Magic Wand tool. I want to delete the background select it and hit delete on the keyboard now it is removed now make a new layer and fill it with white and uh, go to blending options i want a radial gradient so that i can make more focus in the center of this body so uh, and that's nice mm. move it and adjust the position and uh, play with the opacity click on ok ok now we are ready with the radial gradient and uh, something I want uh, change uh, that's right this is before after then make a new copy by pressing ctrl J and make a new layer uh, now this time I want to set up the glue on the highlights part of the uh, choose your brush and make sure you have opacity 18 and uh, and uh, flow 20 around and apply on the white points of the skin uh, it requires a lot of practice and uh, it takes more time and uh, make sure you have working uh, all this work on the new layer instead of uh, directly doing on the here project image so do it so firstly you have to practice it so that and then you can create this type of effect so it's really time consuming time taking process and make sure you have uh, this two, sec uh, two settings and uh, change between two settings is necessary as I am changing in the opacity in the flow Now we are ready with the doge and make a new layer by pressing ctrl j and uh, make it blur so that I want very smooth dodging and very that's nice mm. this is the dodging part as you can see now make a new layer and name it burn I want to burn the skin and choose and take a selection of the color uh, from the body inside and apply the different part on the body as you can see on the screen and it's really time taking and uh, requires a lot of practice Now we are ready with the burn part of the skin texture and press ctrl shift alt e to merge all and go to filter and then image nomic I want uh, medium setting uh, 
that's not right and control Z and again I want very normal setting so this is before after mm, very skin smooth mm, now go to Nick mm, but before that uh, go to camera row and uh, do the necessary changing as uh, see on the screen mm, okay Mm, clarity is some mm, okay that's nice now play with the, the saturation of the orange mm, now play with the contrast mm. Temperature I want uh, minus 19 and sharpness increase. That's nice. Now click on OK. This is before after and uh, this is really image. Now go to Nick Soft Color Effects and do the necessary changes as shown in the video like Detail Extractor that is my favorite setting for image. <coughs> now um, cross processing um, I think uh, I think this is better um, before after now reduce the opacity um, now another filter at film grain um, okay this is working duplex it's uh, I think not working mm, okay now want some contrast mm, that's not right pro contrast is a better option for this type of image mm. And apply the settings mm, that's nice mm. dynamic contrast okay that's fine now click on okay mm. uh, okay that's fine that's very fine now go to filter then camera raw I want vignetting so go to options uh, that's nice mm. increase sharpness mm, okay I'll click on ok this is before after Now I will do some another changes like uh, brightness. I want to control the brightness and uh, go to levels and go to blue channel and uh, play with the output level and uh, mm, color selection and uh, cyan. Choose the cyan color and uh, it will change the color in the cyan as the background is alt cyan. Mm, okay, I want some greenish aqua color. That's fine. Mm, but before that uh, go to red and uh, skin is the red part so play it with play with it mm, that's fine I think okay now this is before and after now merge all layers by pressing ctrl shift alt e and go to filter gallery in filter gallery now we have this diffuse glow filter and uh, now play with the settings and you will get the final product of your project mm, well that's fine mm, okay Now click on OK. Thank you friends for watching this video. This is before and after and I hope you have enjoyed this video.
keep in touch with us on youtube facebook thank you friends keep watching anus creation